Hey guys, it's James from Tempwater Browns Planes here with a quick video demonstration on the all new Dometic CFX3 screens. So first thing you want to do is just press and hold the on off button here to turn the fridge on, which will also bring the display up. So straight away you'll notice a nice clear LCD screen which shows us what temperature the fridge is currently sitting at, which you can see is minus four degrees. Then up in the left hand corner here, you'll notice it says AC as we currently have the fridge running off of a 240 volt source. However, if you're running this off of a 12 volt source, you'd notice that would flick to DC. Then in the top right hand corner, there's two icons here for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, just to show that both of these options are currently set to on. But I'll obviously go through this in a little bit more detail later on. You'll also notice just in the bottom here, there's a white LED dot just to sort of show you that the fridge is currently running, um, just as a vis visible indication, rather than actually having to listen for the compressor to kick in. So in order to get to menu options, simply hit the OK button just on the right hand side here, and that will bring up your options. So first of all, you have set temperature, which when hitting OK will bring you into your menu option. So we currently have the fridge set to get down to minus 10 degrees. However, if you wanted to set that to say minus two degrees, you just simply cycle up using the um, arrow keys here up to minus two and then hit OK. Now that will flash a couple of times before bringing you back to that previous menu. Next up, we then have battery protection, which when going into gives you three options just for sort of setting the voltage cut out for the fridge. Now this will be dependent on what source you have the fridge running from but we generally tend to leave this set to low. So now we have two options here, one for Bluetooth and one for Wi-Fi. Um, as I said previously, I'll go over this in a bit more detail later on, but that's purely just for cycling through the two options for connecting your device up to the fridge in order to control and also monitor it. Now further down, we have an option for the display, which when going into it, just allows you to dim the screen down or increase its brightness, but we'll leave that on high as it's a lot easier to read. And then last but not least, we have the temperature units, which out of the box will be set to Celsius. However, for those of you across the pond that like to read in Fahrenheit, you do have that option as well. Now to get back to the main uh, readout, all you have to do is hit the on off button once and that will return you to where you were previously. Now another cool feature we have on this screen as well is if you hold both the arrow keys at the same time, you have the capability of locking the controls. So you now see there's a padlock to display that the lock is now on. So it means if you have any kids running around, they can no longer muck around with your settings or even turn the fridge off by accident. Now to unlock uh, this feature, all you do is the same as before, just press and hold both uh, arrows at the same time and they'll then flick off. Another cool feature with these fridges is just next to the display itself, we now have an uprated USB socket, which is rated to two amps which is approximately four times quicker than the previous generation fridges, which were rated to 0.5 amps. So this just means that any devices that you have plugged into this socket will effectively charge four times as quicker as what they did previously. So I currently have the Dometic CFX3 app open on my phone. So in order to get this app, simply download it from either the Play Store or Apple Store, depending on what device we're using. But what you're going to want to do is actually on the fridge side of things, cycle down to the corresponding setting that you want to use to connect to the fridge. Um, so for this scenario, we'll be using Bluetooth. So just going into the setting there, making sure that it's set to on, which it currently is. Cycle down to pair and hit OK. So on the phone side of things, all you're going to want to do is just tap on the corresponding fridge, which we only have one available, which is the one that we're currently using for testing purposes and that'll eventually connect. Um, so first thing you'll notice is it'll give you the current temperature that the fridge is running at. Plus then just below here, it'll show you what temperature the fridge is trying to get to. So in order to change this setting, you can either use the plus or minus buttons just underneath, or you can also use as a slider when it wants to work, there we go. So you can slide that up and down to also change your temperature. And you'll notice it'll quickly flash on the uh, LCD screen on the fridge just to sort of show you what's happening. So the other cool feature with this app is you actually get a uh, relatively detailed graph showing you the average uh, temperature of the fridge. So as you can see, while we've been filming, the fridge has stayed at roughly about minus four degrees. And the other thing is normally when this fridge is connected to a DC source, it'll show you the average amp hour drawage as a, a uh, orange bar graph. So it's just a nice way to sort of monitor how the fridge has been performing if you leave your campsite for a couple of hours, just to make sure that everything is in working order. 
And the other thing you can do with this uh, app as well is just in the top right hand corner you have an on off switch so you can actually turn the fridge off from the app itself. So it'll just come up with a prompt saying do you want to turn CFX3 off? So hitting OK will turn the fridge off as you can see from the screen here. Now if you did want to turn the fridge back on and you're say sitting down having a nice cold drink, you can actually turn it back on from the app itself. The same thing, just in the top, tapping that will ask you, do you want to turn CFX3 on? So if you hit OK, and then you'll notice it all turns back on. Just in the top left hand corner here, you have three lines, which just brings up an additional menu. So from here, you can set things like the battery protection, you can set a temperature alarm, as well as setting the uh, units that you want the temperature to say. So these are all settings that are available through the fridge itself, uh, cycling through the menu on the screen. You also have a couple of other additional things like the ability to register your warranty, but then there's also a couple of connection options as well, which more uh, for your Wi-Fi connection. So I mean, the advantage with the Wi-Fi connection is generally it's going to be a stronger connection than Bluetooth. However, the disadvantage with connecting to the fridge via Wi-Fi is it means that you won't be able to use your internet as it'll believe the fridge is an internet source. So that's why you generally want to try and use it running Bluetooth because then it means you can still use your mobile device to its full capacity. So there you have it guys, there's your quick run through on the all new screen feature on the brand new Dometic CFX3 range. If you wanted to see one of these bad boys in action, head into your local Tentworld store or you can also purchase these online at tentworld.com.au.